Hey everyone, Happy New Year. It's Chris Taylor. I updated the Windows 7 about a, a month ago. I uh, love it. And uh, there's no problems I've ever had with it. Uh, just to show you a little bit of Media Monkey 3.2, what's going to happen is if you're playing a song... Oops, I don't want this open. I don't want that open. If you're playing a song within Media Monkey, let's say... Uh, Lupe the Gorilla. I'm going to minimize it. It minimizes right the taskbar, and if you put your mouse over this, it gives you this cute little player here. You can uh, go to the previous track, next track. You can as also actually rate it up, which is great, because uh, when I'm listening to a song on my computer, I don't want to open up Media Monkey um, and go rate it. I can just rate it right here. I can also stop it and pause it, and it'll show the uh, player if you put your mouse over the album art. Another good thing is if you right click on it, you can also go to some of your playlists that are up here. I just cleaned up my computer so uh, a lot of the playlists aren't there yet. But it also shows what the frequent song was and what the recent song was. Uh, it also has load a playlist and it shows all my playlists here. So if I want to play one of them, I can. It's really great, uh, I just wanted to show that a little bit. This video is really about tagging, which is very, very important in Media Monkey. It makes it one of the best players out there on the market. Uh, Lifehacker rated this very, very highly and said that its tagging was uh, among the best it's ever seen. So I'm going to show you exactly how to uh, get the best out of the tagging from Media Monkey. So we're going to open this up, pause this for a second, and we're going to go into our library. Now when you look at your library, usually you have title, artist, album, stuff like that. But sometimes you will put a CD in and it won't have anything. It will just have 0, 1 and the name of the song. It won't have the uh, artist and album. You can fix that uh, doing it two ways. So the first way, we're going to go into library and go into files to edit. Files to edit is a great, great, great way to organize all your tracks. We're going to go into album, Unknown Artists, and then as you can see, uh, both of the CDs here that haven't been updated uh, are shown. And I'm going to highlight the ones that I want. I already know this is the Flaming Lips uh, new CD, Embryonic. So I'm going to highlight all the songs that are in the CD. If you don't know which songs are in the CD, uh, usually you can tell by the uh, number beside it, so 0, 1 to 15, just like that. So once we have them highlighted, we're going to right click and we're going to say auto tab from auto tag from web. You can also press Control L, which whichever one you want is fine. We're going to click that. Okay, it's going to be searching. Uh, I want to make my own search. Uh, let's see if this. Okay, this is fine, I guess. Uh, they put in the flaming lips for me, so I'm just going to go out and find it in the list of all of these. Now sometimes you will have problems finding the perfect CD for which songs you have. Like for this CD, they have a two CD, a DVD, they have vinyl stuff. So I'm just going to click on the Flaming Lips Embryonic 2009, which is just the basic one. Okay? So what they're going to have here is the album art, which is exactly what you want. They're also going to have uh, the title of the song right now, which is in gray. And then in yellow, they're going to have the song that it's going to be changed to. So it's going to be changed to Convince of the Hex by the Flaming Lips from the album Embryonic. It already has the album artist in there, and the date's going to be changed, and the track's going to be changed. Anything in yellow uh, is something that's going to be changed, and anything in gray or black is something that's already there. So I'm going to click on this right here, and that means that every single song I have is going to be updated. There you go. Now you press Auto Tag. And you can either save image to tag, save image to album form. I like to save image to tag, if possible. Usually it is possible. So there you go. And you can exit out of this. And now your CD is properly tagged. And it's great to see uh, some of these. Let me see. Uh, it hasn't updated yet. I'm sure if I play it. Yeah, it hasn't updated yet. It takes about two, three minutes maybe. But yeah, it should be fine in a few minutes. The new album art should come up. And that's tagging. Just wanted to make a quick video on it. Uh, if you have any other questions, please forward them to my inbox or put them in the comments. I will take any questions on Mini Monkey and show you about it. Okay, thanks guys. See ya.